Welcome back to the Kiriakin Garage. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how to install the lighted license area trim, this replacement light for the reflector, and a pulse brake module that's gonna make all of your brakes pulse when you hit the brakes. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna install is gonna be this pulsing brake light controller. Now this is gonna install under the seat, and this is gonna make all the brake lights in the back of the bike flash three to five times before they go on steady bright. Let's get that installed. So you're gonna to wanna to use a test light so you can check your wiring, and you're gonna to wanna to find the brake wire that supplies all the rest of the back of the bike with your brake signal. There's our brake wire. We're gonna have the incoming side from the bike into the incoming side of the module, and our brake power going out. Now we'll add the supplied ground wire to the center terminal. All right, once you get the seat back on, test and make sure they work. And that's all you need. Next thing we're gonna install is gonna be this lighted license plate area trim so we can get rid of this not so good looking bracket. Now since we've got the back plate off and we're gonna be drilling some holes for that, we're gonna go ahead and replace this reflector with a nice lighted one. Let's get started. Once we have the center back panel off, we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock license plate bracket. Once we have the stock mounting bracket off, they have this nice template they've installed in the kit with the arrow marked up. Now notice in the camera, I've got the fender upside down from the way you're seeing it, so this is actually up. You lay that in place, and then you're gonna drill four mounting holes with a quarter inch drill bit. Okay. Once we've got the holes drilled with the template here, we'll go ahead and remove that. Now, like I said earlier, we're gonna replace this stock reflector here for a nice lighted one. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that and drill the hole for the wires for that as well. This here's the lighted license area trim we're gonna install. But first, we're gonna install the license plate. Now, depending on what state you're from, you may have to trim your plate some for it to fit. Next, we can run the wire through and mount the plate. Now we're going to install the light to replace our reflector. We'll run the wires through here. Now we can install it back on the bike. Now comes the wiring, which is actually really easy. Kiryakin has made plug and play wiring harness adapters and each one has two plugs. Now both of those kits we just installed come with each one of these wiring harnesses, so we're gonna only install one. This is gonna plug right in line, the factory wiring harness on the blue connectors. Okay. Now as you can see, we have more than one Kiriakin wiring harness in this bike, which is fine. You can just run them all in series as long as they're on the blue plugs. We'll have two plugs extra here. We can plug in our accessories now and we can install our back lid. And that's it. That's just how easy it is to install the lighted license area trim, the replacement reflector LED light, and the pulse brake module. Till next time, we'll see you then.